Okay, mud fossils are the um, fossilized soft body parts of creatures in mud. Opals are the soft body parts of creatures in blood. All right? Australia has opalized fossil remains. They include dinosaur bones in New South Wales and marine creatures in South Australia. They have almost all the opals in the world. I mean, they're like 80% uh, something like that of all the opals in the world. And um, what it is, is this, these little beads here are nothing more than cells. Those are cells. Those little round balls are the cells that are blood cells. And they have petrified and gone and invaded the, the metals in the cells have invaded the other tissues and that is what makes them stable is the blood the metals and I'll show that in a heart and I'll show it some other things all right in case you're not familiar with what's inside of a heart it's there's there's ventricles walls inside here and one of them is a thick wall and it pumps half of the blood the other one is a thinner wall it, it, it pumps the other part of the blood and you have the aorta and you have the muscle tissue on the outside you have these little strings the heart strings inside um, there's a lot of of different tissues here they look all the same but they're all different and I can tell you why they're different I'll show you why they're different and I have an opal heart I don't have it personally but I have it. I'm going to show it to you that was cut in half remember this architecture and let's go look at that opal heart and I'm going to show you something that I think it might have even had a heart attack in this creature that had sur survived and then healed and then eventually died in a soup of blood and that's why it became opalized all right these are the transition metals that are in your body you need them if you do not have them you will be sick and there is not just these there's almost a hundred of them there's a ton of them you have uranium iridium all those things in you and there will be a need for those you have a million different processes going on you've got extreme salinity in your kidneys and and then the blood has to be a certain way and your liver has to work a certain way and 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 all of these things different things have to work in harmony and this is what creates the harmony all right these are all the different elements that are metals and so forth that should be in your body all of these are necessary they say all well, these are trace elements well they're necessary I don't care what you call them. You saw all those different colors, and I'll show you a different colored spectrum in a second. Make a lot more sense. But if all there's a lot of stuff in here, they don't even know what that's. Well, they're not saying what it is, but there there's things in here in small quantities. Some things in huge quantities: calcium, aluminum, sodium, oxygen. We're 65 percent oxygen. This is what we need to do to start to understand our bodies. All right, this is a heart. Now, I'm not sure it's a human heart, but I'm going to tell you, this is a heart. This is the blood that it would be in the heart. These are the heart strings that we saw. These are the ventricles. The muscle surrounds it, which causes it to do that. You have the aorta and the plumbing of the heart. Now, all of these different colors are transition metals and those are the things that are in your body that carry all the products in your body around to service and pick up gases and discharge them out through your lungs now and and of course um, other they carry them around to all the different organs in your body and all the different cells and everything they are the providers of health and if you don't have the correct chemistry here you're going to be sick now look at this you see that brown spot is that brown spot? Look, look closely at that. All right. You see how all the other tissue is vital? It's got a nice vital color to it. And then you have this, what I think is death right here. And that might be death right there. Somewhere that brought oxygen to this particular area, maybe both of these areas, that blood vessel was shut off. And at that point, this tissue died. And then it became scarred or whatever happens to it it's not vital at that point it's it becomes stable in your body however it's no longer a vital organic tissue it's in your body basically stabilized when you die or when this creature died it was 
infused and soaked in blood for a very long time. The blood metals through a process of called carboxylation of metal complexes moved all these metals into all of these tissues to make them stable. That is what happens. They want to be stable and they can only be stable with an exact chemistry. So what does that mean? That means that this and 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 this over here and this tissue, all these different tissues have a chemistry that they want to be at and they need certain things in your body to establish that chemistry and if you don't have the correct blood metals you cannot correct you cannot have the correct chemistry in your body you're going to be chronically ill something is going to be lacking in your skin or your eyes or your ears or your hair or your toenails or something is going to give you trouble it's the blood metals my friends it's the it's transition metals that is what you need and you need them in the right amounts and you only get in the right amounts if you have the right enzymes you only have the right enzymes if you have the right bacteria and you only have the right bacteria in your gut if you have a good digestive system and you have to have that bacteria once you kill it with uh, antibiotics and things like that you got issues coming up and you have to reestablish your your um, digestive system it's as simple as that what you put in if it doesn't work when it gets in you it doesn't matter what you put in and if you put in a bunch of garbage it doesn't matter if your system's working or not you have to put in the right stuff and then you have to have the right stuff to deal with it case closed now the reason that heart had all its colors is because of carboxylation and carboxylation is transition metal compounds and complexes it moves the carboxylation. The carbon continuously moves these things through your body. Even when you're dead, it doesn't matter. That heart didn't turn that color instantaneously. That heart sat in blood and it moved all of these molecules through there until they stabilize. And that is the process of all rocks. They do not ever, 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 ever fix carbon until they turn into diamonds. Carbon moves forever. So anything that was in a flood, anything that's in the air, anything that's in the mud, anything that's anywhere, really, the carbon is going to move in and out of there through the air, carbon dioxide, carboxylation. It just happens. It is a process of moving it, and, and the rocks will continue down until they actually turn into silicon dioxide, pretty much. And everything, all the organic stuff goes away. Actually, case opened again. <laughs> There is no database for this. There's no database to tell you every single blood metal that's supposed to be in your body. It doesn't exist. There's no database to tell you what fecal stuff should be in your, your fecal sample. It doesn't exist. Not that I'm aware of. And it certainly isn't something that do on a routine basis. Exactly if they went to your, your uh, mechanic, he'd check your oil, he'd check the gas, he'd check the battery, he'd check all the different fluids and oils before he went and started banging out dents. And that's what happens. They start banging out dents. Here, take some of this and see what happens. They don't have any clue. Without this database, it does is absolute cluelessness. And all you need is those two things. All the stuff that's in your blood, all the stuff that's in your feces, that will determine if your body is functioning correctly in the digestive system. That is your health. Then you associate that to different symptoms. And in that database, with nobody's name, nobody's address, nobody's vital statistics, and it's very simple to do. You need a drop of blood and it's a little bit of poop. Case closed. Walk away. They analyze it. They put it in the database. They say if you have skin conditions, you have psoriasis, you have this, you have that, you have a problem with your copper, and in addition to magnesium, and it's because your probolactus is not bacillus uh, bacteria, is not established well in your body. That is the kind of detail you will get on a database like this. All right, that's my last word.